this overhead light is given way too much this early in the morning. Well, good morning everyone and happy Wednesday. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do daily vlogs. And by daily, I mean like one week. So I guess it's a weekly vlog. But it's Wednesday morning, bright and early. Going to work. I was going to stop at Duncan and get something, but then I realized, eh, because part of the reason I wanted to go was to get some coffee and to get something for breakfast, but then I have some coffee at work and then I still have some bagels in the fridge and I was like, well, I have coffee at work and I still have bagels, so I'm like, I don't really need to spend the money if I don't need to, you know? And I used to be the kind of person who would get like Starbucks or Duncan every single day before work. I feel like I shouldn't do that. Especially if I have resources available to me that I have already paid for. I saw this TikTok of this guy like talking about just his minimalistic lifestyle and how his beat up shoes are fine. He doesn't need new ones because they like still work just fine and serve him as they need to. And his clothes are like eight plus years old, but again, they still work fine. His water bottle still keeps his water cold, even though it looks really dingy. Just all those things. And it was definitely a very different take on American life because we're just not those people. Like we live in a very materialistic society and we have to consistently buy things and get the newest whatever. Get a coffee, and get a bagel, even though we have coffee and bagels at home. Something I've learned about adulting. No matter how many dishes or laundry you do, there will always be more. Okay. I don't have like any snacks, which kind of bums me out because I need snacks. Like I'm a snacking girl at work. I used to do this all the time in college. I would uh, eat Honey Nut Cheerios as a snack, so. This is so hard to open. Oh, okay. So something kind of embarrassing. So yesterday I was sick, uh, or I had a migraine, which isn't the embarrassing part, but I need like caffeine in order to try and essentially make my migraine go away. Um, cause caffeine can help with headaches, but so we have these little things called Zip Fizz and it's like a drink, uh, it's like a water flavor thing that has caffeine in it. It's got quite a bit. It's got about like 200 milligrams, the same amount that is in like a cup of coffee or around there. And I drank two of them like back to back and then I had to poop. Sorry, I just don't care about saying that word. I'm pretty open book. So I had to poop and cool, that was fine. And then I went back and sat back down in the living room and I had to fart. And I trusted that fart a little too much and I was like, and needless to say, I had to do laundry. So that was wild. I pooped my pants. <laughs> I literally was texting my husband. I was like, I don't remember the last time I pooped my pants. And he was like, yeah, you shouldn't. I was like, you are right. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's go to work. Yay. Bubba, I love you. Ow, your claws. Lord have mercy. I need to clip them. They're so sharp. I'm sitting over here bending my nails back left and right, trying to open a box. Ah! <laughs> Got a little frost action going on here. Driving on X Games mode right now with my windshield. Can you see? Call you back, Hey. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I had I called you. And then I was trying to take a nap because my like head was pounding and so I just like couldn't answer the phone but I was trying to call you to tell you about my incident Thank you. 
my gosh. Okay, so I have been watching this Risa Tisa 50 part series on who the heck did I marry on TikTok and it, I'm binging. Like it is, you literally cannot stop watching because of this story that she's telling. She essentially like married a pathological liar and like a narcissist and she didn't know it. Um, and there were a lot of red flags, but she kind of ignored them. And then basically she's telling the story of how like everything unraveled and found out how he was lying about everything. And like the lies went deep. Like this, this man's whole identity was just like a lie. And there are 50 parts to it, 50 each part 10 minutes, which is wild that TikTok has put a 10 minute function on there now. But yeah, so I'm like, she has done a service. I'm like, this is a straight up soap opera. Someone in the comments literally said, I literally put this on the TV because I was tired of holding the phone. But like for real though, because once you start, like you're not, you're not stopping. This lady needs a documentary because she has provided content. Someone also said they're like, I didn't realize that this was gonna be like our next Tiger King. And it really is like, oh my gosh. So shout out to Risa Tisa for providing us with some quality content. Unfortunately, it's literally her life and it was like kind of tragic, but hey, she's out of it now. So thank goodness. And hopefully she gets that dark blue BMW with the cognac interior. <laughs> Get out of here. Off we go. So I'm gonna go to my parents' house and hang out with them for a little bit. And also, I literally, oh wait, I wrote notes. I'm gonna leave them. I literally, so I finished the Risa Tisa 50 part series of who the heck did I marry? Finished it and I was like writing down notes cause I was like, I need to remember all of these things that happened. But I left my little notes in the office and uh, I don't really need them. But it was wild. That weird time of year where you don't know how to dress. You have to layer up cause in the morning it's freezing and during the day it's decently warm. Today, what did I do today? I mainly worked on resizing and watermarking lots of pictures that did not have proper watermarking or any watermarking. So I was honestly doing that while listening to this whole 50 part series. And I literally, time went by pretty quickly today when I was listening to that because I was invested. Well, I think I'm gonna make this vlog a little short. I don't really know how much content I got today, but that's fine. It'll be a little less editing later on. But so I'm at my parents' house. I'm gonna hang out with them. I love you all. Thank you again for coming back and watching my videos. Or if you're new, please tag along. I would love to get to know you better and for us to all just become a little family. So hit that like button if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button so that you can see more weekly content from me. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Mwah.